You suck at cooking, yeah, you totally suck. If you like fudgesicles and you like things that come in the shape of fudgesicles, then you'll definitely like fudgesicles. The first super creamy fudgy fudgesicle starts with a can of evaporated milk. Whoops. All right, let's get that back together. Ah, damn it. All right, let's just... All right, so open up the can and then, oh, right. First thing we'll do is revaporate the milk. Then we'll pour that milk vapor into a round pan on medium low heat. Now we'll make some chocolate chips, then get around a half cup in there, and we'll also add two tablespoons of brown sugar and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now the secret to a great ice cold fudgesicle is heat. We're gonna slowly wang jangle this, aka slang jangle, until it becomes a nice chocolatey soup. Now's the time I remember to add a couple pinches of edible rocks. Then keep that going for a few minutes to condensify for extra creaminess. Plumb the depths of your pan like a submarine. Make sure no chocolate is hiding on the bottom waiting to ambush you. If you leave it for a bit and the skin starts to form, that's how you know you've left it for a bit. Then we'll pour that chocolate gravy into our spout glass and fill our molds while pretending we're a scientist filling test tubes with I don't know, a life-saving vaccine or something. Don't forget to sprinkle in some microchips. Now take your broken wooden dagger and and slide those inside. Let the chocolate goop cool down a bit, then put these in the heat subtractor for a few hours. If you're in a rush, you can speed up the freezing process by holding some ice cubes against the door. Now that's a damn good fudgesicle. Now we'll make a vegan fudgesicle. We're gonna hunt down a wild can of coconut milk. Oh, there's one. Get back here. Got him. Oh, perfectly ripe too. Now we'll get the coconut out of its shell and we'll melt it down into coconut ooze. Add in six tablespoons of cocoa powder, four tablespoons of brown sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of low vibing earth crystals. Then we'll wang jangle that for a few minutes until we have a scalding chocolate mud puddle. Then pour that into the vertical fudgesicle containment chambers. Make sure you're using plant-based sticks. Then slide that into the temperature reducer. If you're in a rush, you can run a hair dryer in the opposite direction of your freezer. You know what this is? Another damn good fudgesicle. By the way, fudgesicle isn't recognized as a word by spell check. What the f computer? So I discovered something really amazing recently. When you combine chocolate with peanut butter, it tastes incredible. We'll make the same base as before with evaporated milk, also known as Milcus evaporatumus in Latin, half cup of chocolate chips, two tablespoons of brown sugar, half teaspoon of vanilla extract, sprinkle in some rocks, and we're gonna slang jangle that until we have chocolate gravy again. And we'll take one big spoonful of peanut butter and get that all melted in there. Then we'll let the sludge cool for a bit and we'll take another big tablespoon. This is the chunky stuff, by the way. And we're gonna break it up, but we want it lumpy. We want contrast. We want little peanut nuggets to surprise and delight us. Then we'll make our chocolate gravy sludge conform to the shape that society thinks a fudgesicle should look like. Then we'll take a trip over to the old molecule slower downer. You know what they say, you gotta start with sludge if you wanna make fudge. Then we'll freeze that sludge until it won't budge. They don't actually say that. If you're in a rush, you can remember that time, time is an illusion. Is an illusion. An illusion. And then just burn four hours on your phone doing something so meaningless you'll never remember it for the rest of your life. Now this might be the best damn fudgesicle ever made in the history of Earth, but I suspect there could be another one that's even better in a different galaxy, but I don't know for sure because I'm not an astrologist. Oh hey look, it's a corporate fudgesicle, also known as garbage in comparison. These are some of the creamiest, yummiest fudgesicles you've never tasted, and I honestly challenge you to try one of these, then come back to me and tell me it's not the best fudgesicle you've ever had. If you do that, I promise I'll read your comment and I'll cry. Just a little bit. Fudge so cold, wanna fill the hole of a ship and set sail to a cannonball. Gonna get real stuffed just like a sea.